hello everybody, Humble here. You guys are familiar with the Vauxhall, I'm sure. What a cute little beast this thing is. Look at that little rascal. What a little sweetie heart, huh? Look at him. I remember this from Gotham Racing. I just got done doing the lighting for it, so the lighting is all nice. And uh, we even have a squawk built version that I think you might want to take a peek at. Take a look at this. Now the wheels are a little funny, but uh, after many, many hours in and out of the um, 3D, I'll show you what you could end up with. One of these rascals. Check this out. all the extra stuff that lights up on it we got extra pipes because we got one serious engine I took the engine out of the uh, Lotus 72 and I slapped it in here so let's not look at the normal one let's uh, you notice all the chrome accoutrements all right let's get uh, let's get our ass in gear here I can show you the real McCoy Fetch the critter, come right up into black. I think you'll find this a, an interesting little car. Check this critter out. Let's get the lights back on. And the driver back in. Check them out. Now, you know we got flames. We got to have flames. We got all kinds of flames. But what we haven't done is take it out for a real good drive. So that's what we're going to do. Look at this great big friggin' uh, turkey catcher on the top. Turkey flies over, just going right down on the side. <laughs> but we had to have that. We had to have a little extra cooling. I kind of liked it. It reminded me a little bit of the uh, GT90. But look at that engine. Look at that puppy. Well, it's not easy to get it just right, but take a look at that sitting down in there. Beautiful Ford V8 stuffed into a Vauxhall. If you like how stuff lights up, check it out. If you turn it off, it just goes back to chrome. Then it goes to gold. And of course, the brakes work like a champ. See a little guy up on top? He'll do it too. So let's check it out. You want to? We'll take this out and we'll run it against the uh, stock version. See how we do should be interesting I think you'd enjoy it and we're not going to go to the same track we've been at 400 times in the past now let's fire this shit up now I, I understand who's playing ball Well, 
piss on that. I guess we ain't gonna be doing too good. Got a little bit too much engine torque, so I should have given myself more differential slip. It doesn't look too promising that we're ever gonna see another car other than my own. But we ain't sweating. That's what happens when you overbuild the cars and you don't realize that you just put them up against you. Still looks grainier than the bastard, I think. Real grainy. It don't look like it used to. It used to look good. From what I remember. We're getting a whopping 48 frames. Well, fuck it. We'll limp our way through here and do our best. Somebody's got to come up with last place. I guess it might as well be me. You know, humbleize yourself. It's got some torque to it, boy. It's a torquey little bastard. 50% turbo. We go back down to 30 or we will never make another corner. Oh, he's he's at the canary. Couple of them made it. Oh look, another one smoked off into the corner. What's the matter, bud? They could have done without there. to get in on it. It should, if, if, if nothing else, that one horrendous fucking power slide should be worth watching the video back. At least to that part, anyway. I can't believe I didn't crash. I, I figured I was going to any second. I usually do. Turbo, hear him whistling? Hear it? <laughs> little Vauxhall. I used to love this in Gotham. It was a nice little car, a little intermediate car, you know, you just get going when you get started. Of course, you had to burn all the friggin' cars back in those days. So it could take a long time to pass one test after another. Chirp the piss out of it when you shift. Alright, intermediate humble. Well, we may not come in last place because we saw a lot of carnage. We needed more differential slip, that's the deal. Nice, nice curve. No idea if this is what the actual speed we're going, but we're having fun. I love the sound of it. Woo! Old school. But it does remind you of brakes around. sound like a V8, I should have probably been. I guess I could take the sound out of the Lotus 72 and use that. But this has a nice sound to it. Bites the shit out of you. It really is doing a job on it on the steering wheel. It's a, it's a little bit 
bit of a handful, this little rascal. Uh, it, uh, it's kind of cool. You wouldn't believe how long I worked on that fucking stripes. Holy shit. This was not laid out in a logical fashion. It was upside down and backwards, which is a real pisser when you go to put stripes on. Because they just don't lay them in one direction and they work. They're several directions and they ain't cool at all. Oh, baby. This might not be pretty. Agree with it, but we are probably going to make it at some point. The trees are starting to get their fall colors, but it looks things. It's nice to come back to this track after you haven't run on it in a while. Those tires, those grass are so deep in So far, so good. It does have some good grip to it. It definitely doesn't have power steering. You can feel everything in the steering wheel. It's light too, it's like a feather. I wish I knew how fast we were going. That probably would be a help. I'll have to grab the cheater. Where are you, buddy? Come here. Yeah, wonderful. We're doing a thousand. Maybe not. All right, 50. 50 in the second? Don't take long to get to 100, though, does it? The sky is dwindling too. Is that something? Yeah, it's got so much back pressure that it slid the front tires. You could actually steer it with, the, with your throttling foot if you were gentle enough with it. We're going to find out what this puppy will do. Going right to 100% turb. This would kick off. Got a little whoopers to the asses. That always does that shit. I grease up the fucking wheels just when I don't want to do that. That ought to clean them off. All right, you ready for this shit? Oh, are we ready for this shit? The God only knows what it's going to do with 100% Terbunicus. Third gear, we're really gaining speed. Will it self-destruct or is it going to make it? More in the coals to it now. 300. Down to 30. Okay, oh, 300 mile an hour fox haul. It hauls ass. Ooh, it stoops it. Got to do a good 100% burnout though. Cross the finishing line. Is this a straightaway? It is. Ah, watch this shit. Are you ready for this shit? Nice. Realize we're sacrificing our time, but we're gonna enjoy it. Ready? Fifth gear. Fourth, maybe. Oh, baby! Whoa, 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 Nelly! Well, well, wake up from the dream. There's our little Voxus hauling asses. Look at that fucking schnozzle, my. Thanks, Uncle Lem, for the schnozzle. Check that puppy out. Fuck the duck, man.
We got pipes up. The yin yang. What a cute little car. Well, it should be an interesting little slow mo. Look at it fucking hopping on three wheels. I don't do too much cool shit, but I do try it every once in a while by accident. I, I find a little bit of cool shit to enjoy. Let's try another camera while it's on slow. Oh, that's kind of neat. It doesn't really give us the fold. Look at that guy going. He's fucking hammering it. Flames are crackling. All right, enough monkey. Look at those nasty little fucking wheels, so you wonder why the thing's sucking canal water. Something else. Fucking ten it's feet a pain tired. in the ass. You gotta cut all that shit apart if you're going to get things to light up and not have everything in his grandmother light up. Like, you don't want the door handles to light up, and, and you had to cut these out to get the chrome onto the door handles. And same deal for in, inside. I was gonna go ahead and cut the chrome out for the rest of the things, but you know, after a while you say, this is only a little wee baby Vox haul. You're going ape shit for no reason. Well, not you, humble. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get right up on the old Vox Hall sign. What do we got here? Some kind of, oh. A flying, uh, lion with a fucking bird's head. Part bird, it's a griffin, isn't it? It's a, I don't, if you, anybody who knows what that thing is, turn me on to it. I think it's a griffin, but I could be wrong. But I'll talk to you later. I hope you had fun. Bye-bye, guys.